hey hi uh, today we are going to see about the tapping cycle uh, in okuma 3 plus 2 machine so uh, in generally uh, we are making a thread formation with the uh, taps or uh, thread mills so it is based on uh, production demands so if you are using a uh, taps so we can um, obtain the more productivity so if you are using a thread mill we can uh, obtain a less amount of parts uh, from the production so if it in case uh, if you are using a very hardest material if you are using a tap for that uh, thread formation then the tap will get easily the weird so after that you, you should change the each and every time some uh, particular parts after running you should uh, change the um, taps so that time what it will happen uh, the tooling cost will get higher so uh, what we need to do so we need to put a thread mill so if it in case it is getting wear so we can adjust uh, the wear value after that we can achieve the uh thread formation with the proper gauges so we can achieve more parts and more pro- products so it will not affect in the tooling cost so that's a uh, that's a major difference between the using of uh, thread mill and uh, tapping so now we are going to see about the tapping so this is a model program for the uh, tapping cycle actually uh, from n1 to n8 is a basic uh, information about the tool and uh, tool holder so then n9 uh, tool number and uh, it's a changing sequence from the magazine so uh, next one is g15 is a work coordinate uh, selection and after that what is a work offset number it's a h12 then g56 and g90 uh, g90 it's absolute command and uh, then after uh, datum shift uh, g11 x0 y0 z0 it's a datum shift line so then where we want to position the tap uh, that means the positioning of the tap uh, in the x and y axis coordinate we, we need to give so spindle speed rate and feed rate i just explain in uh, the next slide so uh, it is very very important thing uh, in uh, uh, tapping so i i will explain that uh, speed and feed rate calculation then after uh, if we are form the clockwise thread we need to give the m03 if we are making a counter clockwise thread we need to uh, give that uh, m04 so after that hada it's a tool offset number so after that uh, g90 94 and m51 so it's in through coolant uh, then after g01 uh, z100 uh, where we want to position the Uh, tap in uh, particular distance uh, before the approaching uh, distance so then after coolant on so g71 uh, z50 and m53 it's a uh, it is a uh, if you are making a uh, multiple holes it just uh, move the taps and at uh, initial point that means uh, z50 at the point so then after uh, tapping cycle it is a block for the uh, tapping cycle then g80 canada cycle cancel g10 datum shift cancel m05 spindle stop and coolant off g30 p for as, as well as uh, that is a uh, pocket for the uh, home reference return so then option stop and uh, program end is followed followed at the end of this program so then this is a threading detail now i am taking the 10 dash 32 un of threading so this is a program for that and speed rate is 100 and feed rate is 79.375 just mem- uh, remember that so i will explain that in uh, further slides so 10 dash 32 uh, it is a details given in uh, the threading chat actually i just uh, kept out uh, the details from the uh, one of the standard Uh, you can uh, search in uh, google and you can easily get the all the standard uh, from the internet so 10 dash 32 the major diameter given as a 0.190 inches and it's an mm conversion 4.826 so this is a major diameter so 4.1 is a drill size what what kind what size of drill we want to make before the tapping they are giving given us a 4.1 so then uh, threads per inches 32 threads per inches they are given so the pitch value we can easily calculate from this so in the left hand uh, top side uh, they are giving the what 
what is the uh, geometrical uh, shape of the thread they are given us like that this is a uh, common for unc unf and unef this is a uh, ansi standard format so ansi standard uh, number is ansi b1.1 so the next slide is threading details so i just kept it from the threading chart actually so what is the drill diameter what uh, we want to make that's a 4.1 drill before we need to put the tap we need to make a hole for 4.1 mm so there is no roughness for the threading but the visual defect is not allowed so the secondary bar nicks dent damage and chattering marks so that kind of things is not allowed in the threading surfaces so then after major diameter 4.8 to 6 this is also i kept it from the um, standard and after that uh, minor diameter 4.1 and thread per uh, inches uh, it is a 32 thread per inches so we need to calculate uh, the pitch value 25.4 uh, mm in uh, one inch so that's why i just divided uh, with the 32 we can get the pitch value 0.794 so then after cutting parameter detail so this is a calculation for the cutting parameter detail uh, the speed is uh, uh, the division of feed rate and the pitch value this is a formula so if you are giving the f- uh, speed rate uh, rpm in 100 so it is depending upon the tooling and the tooling supplier uh, if the tooling carbide solid carbide tool having a uh, 45 uh, mm per minute they are using a cutting speed as like that we can use the speed rate is uh, 100 so uh, i just explain in uh, future uh, videos uh, about the cutting speed and it is a calculation about the speed rate uh, speed and uh, feed rate okay so i just kept out 100 rpm so then after the pitch value is 0.794 it is kept out from the uh, standard chart actually i just kept out from the maryland chart so it is a very uh, useful one i just refer that uh, standard for uh, all the threadings so the, therefore we can get the feed rate at uh, 79.4 mm per minute uh, so this is a speed rate 100 and uh, it's a feed rate is uh, 79.4 mm per minute so this is our setup details uh, where we want to make a hole in the pot and where we want to make the offset so all the details are given so now we are going to see about the how uh, to write the tapping cycle so g84 is a tapping cycle and x50 and y50 where we want to make the tap in the in the pot so then after how much uh, depth we want to make the drill sorry uh, tap actually so they are given us a 15 so 15 mm we want to make the tap so th- we need to make a drill hole above the 15 mm so if you are making a 14 mm drill then you are making a tap for 15 mm then what it will happen so the tap will get easily broken so at least minimum uh, 3 to 4 mm extra size in the drill size is necessary because it just make uh, some some kind of uh, bar and chips removal it's blocked and under the blind hole of a drill so it just e- leads to easily make uh, broken of the taps so this is a, uh, this kind of problem will happen in blind holes only not a through holes so then after our retraction point is 3 mm and feed rate 79.375 as per the feed rate uh, calculation and q value so here uh, they are giving a q value 0.8 in uh, tapping also having a uh, picking so if you are making a tapping for the very hard material like in cone or nickel alloy material if you are using that so that will uh, you cannot achieve the tap in the single pass so the bar removal and the material removal it's very toughest thing so that's why we are giving a uh, picking so then after ha che tool offset number so this is a basic blocks of uh, uh, tapping cycle then after tool path this is a tool path just a position on the 50 x50 and y50 then after i just move to approach and engage move then uh, just make a tapping with the uh, picking movement 
so then after it just moved to the home position it's a tool path it is not very complex so thank you so much for watching this video um i hope you all understand about the tapping cycle thank you so much